Happy Monday, people. Welcome to SourceFed. I'm Matt Lieberman. Who wants to get real for a minute? Raise your hand if you've ever said or heard the following phrase. Hey, dude or girl, I love you. No offense, but you're gaining weight. It's innocent enough. A phrase may be said out of concern rather than any kind of malicious instinct towards someone you care about, a friend, a family member, or even a public figure that you identify with. You care about their health. How can you not? We just want to give them a little push in the right direction. We wouldn't want them to get fat. Maybe they don't even know that they're gaining weight. They should know. I'll let you in on a little secret. We know. It's like telling your friend who smokes cigarettes, hey, cigarettes are bad for you. If there's a single person left on the planet who isn't aware of the dangers of smoking, they're probably living in some kind of Truman Show bubble. We know that we're fat. We can see the changes on our bodies, how our clothes fit, and how people look at us. I'm not even that fat right now, but I used to be. I would call this stage semi-grabbable. Like there's enough to grab, but it's still a thing. And even the smallest comments hurt. It's a reminder that we have failed to conform and that we may be in danger because of our failings. It's fat shaming, even when meant altruistically. So here's the thing. According to a new study published in the research journal Obesity, negative reinforcement about one's weight actually causes an average weight gain of 0.95 kilograms or just over two pounds a year, while people who receive no such comments lose an average of 0.71 kilograms or about one and a half pounds a year. The study was conducted over four years with 2,944 people, ranging from citizens of normal weight to the morbidly obese. Weight discrimination was found across all weight classes. Even about 1% of those who weighed normally experienced it versus the 36% of morbidly obese people who received weight discrimination. Dr. Sarah Jackson, the lead author of the study, writes, our results show that weight discrimination does not encourage weight loss and suggest that it may even exacerbate weight gain. Previous studies have found that people who experience discrimination report comfort eating. Stress responses to discrimination can increase appetite, particularly for unhealthy, energy-dense food. Weight discrimination has also been shown to make people people feel less confident about taking part in physical activity, so they tend to avoid it. So what have we learned? Everyone, at some point or another, felt bad about their body or their weight. Everyone. There's no normal. Love yourselves, love each other, and love your bodies. You're all beautiful, okay? Oh! Has this been out this whole time? Why didn't anyone say anything? Damn it! I lost another shirt!